Draft Stars crew, week one of the finals is here. We have a cracking matchup to start off our Friday here with the Panthers up against the Eels. And one that's gone very close uh, of recent years anyway. That last one was a bit of a blowout when we had Cleary getting suspended. And I'd expect this one to be pretty close. I'm just tipping a Panthers win just based on class that they have. And they've been here and done this the last few years. Obviously them falling in that first game last year. I think they've got that in the back of their mind. And they're really going to come out and dominate this one given that they've all had a good rest last week as well. This outside back section is probably the diff most difficult out of the three, I would say. When you've got Dylan Edwards, who's been the most consistent guy out of all of these, obviously 33, his lowest uh, of the last 10 rounds. So I expect him to bounce back and get a 40 plus. So if you have that extra bit of cash, I would be going for Edwards as that safety net. Stephen Crichton's an interesting one. So he's a little bit more up and down, but consistency is there as well. So he has a few scores above that 50 mark at the 79 last week. I wouldn't expect that to happen in this one here. And he loses that goal kicking with Cleary coming back. So he's a solo one, but he's a little bit more expensive. And if you want to go a little bit lighter, there's guys like Gutherson that I think could get you a, you know, he could have a low one, but if you're looking to win this, he has an opportunity to go big if the Parramatta come out and play really well. You got Penasini as well, though, I think is the other probably the other solid option to be honest with you. Uh, that could get somewhere around that 40 plus mark and sometimes you know a little bit lower than that, but generally fairly consistent. You've got Toto as well, so if they come out and dominate, he could get a few tries like he did last week and do pretty well, which yeah, it's a very interesting one. You've got all the different guys uh, of solid options, but you know, Taylor May had a big one last week. He's been going okay around that, so he's still solid as well, but Really, it's like, do you spend that extra bit of money on Edwards or do you go into the 11s and spend your cash on guys like Cleary, guys like Yo, Papa Lee, the, this type of play? Um, yeah, it's the thing to think about. Cleary is obviously the clear best option. He was absolutely you know, going great until he got the 15 when he got suspended. So he drops down a little bit in price as well. So usually in these one-off matchups, he'd be about 24.5, 25K. And this one, we're getting a little bit cheaper on his return game. So he's definitely a solid option. He can go 4K cheaper and go to Mitch Moses. So he's been really, really consistent at 241s, but other than that, 49 plus in his last 10 games. So he's obviously a good one. You've got Api Corusau, who is a little bit more up and down. I just don't see the upside with him. You've got 170 in there, but you know Moses and Cleary can go 80 plus, which is what you're looking for in this type of matchup. Dylan Brown as well. He has that bigger score in him, a few, you know, three scores there over 60 in his last 10, but can definitely get you a 40 odd. And does that you know, work for you? Probably not. Jerome Luai is the interesting one. In our first game back, he played really, really well. So 12-9, he's a solid one there. And you've got Reed Marnie crazily down to 11,900. Shows how poor he's been playing fantasy-wise anyway. So, you know, if we're looking at this, so, you know, it's Cleary or Moses. So if you get the extra 4K, go Cleary. If you don't, Moses is fine. And then I'd probably go for Dill, Brown, and then Jerome Luai if you want to go really cheap on that section. If we move to the forwards, I think Isaiah Yo just in front of um, Isaiah Papali'i there. Just the scoring-wise, I think he's more consistently a good chance of getting 60, unless Papali is scoring a try. I feel Isaiah is a little bit safer there. Through the middle, playing 80 minutes, getting big uh, tackle numbers, and you know running the ball and potentially some attacking stats there as well. So they're two good options. I'm probably going to go for Isaiah myself. Sean Lane, obviously 240s now in his last bunch, and you know around that has been scoring really, really well. He does come up against Liam Martin, which will be a fun matchup for him. Uh, and I definitely think he can do well, but... Just be aware that that 40 odd is in him if they don't play as well and he doesn't get involved as much as we would hope. Ryan Madison, a couple of 40s of recent time. I'd probably avoid him and look for someone like Fisher Harris, just has a little bit more upside if he gets big minutes, which he probably will in this one and can do really well. Liam Martin at 13,000, obviously has that big game in him. He's got three games over 50, a couple over 60 in his last uh, you know, last six weeks there, which is ideal. You got Moses Leota, who I'd probably select in that next section. You know, mid thirties to forty odd is what his ceiling is. Um, you know, his floor and ceiling, which is great. Eleven thousand eight hundred. Anything above thirty five would be delightful. And that is all I would play here. So the real issue here is just the amount of actual cheapy. So you'd say you'd have to go for a Leota, a Campbell Gillard, uh, a Junior Bolo there. These types of players there, I think, is the ones you're gonna have to try and sneak a thirty five to forty five out of them and probably go cheaper in the outside back so you can get one big forward and one big half there. So definitely interesting in this first matchup. I wish you all the best of luck and jump in the description, guys. Hit that sign up link if you haven't yet. If not, jump on Draft Stars, get your teams in. I wish you all the best of luck, as I said. See you later.